You cannot win election in your church. Primate Ayodele tackles Pastor Bakare over selfish claims on 2023 presidency. Welcome to the news and please listen to the end. The leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, has taken a swipe at Pastor Sunde Bakare of the Citadel Global Community Church over the latest comments on running for president in 2023. Bakare, who paid a visit to President Muhammad Buhari on Friday, said he will contest for the position if God and Nigerians ask him to. He further described himself as a nation builder. Reacting, Prime Minister Ayodele frowned at the remark, stating that Pastor Bakare should face his missionary work and stop mismanaging the grace of God upon his life. Ayodele noted that Bakare cannot win an election in his church, not to talk of winning an election in Nigeria. In a statement by his media aide, Olunwatosi assured the clergyman advised him to spend his money on the less privileged in his church rather than waste it on something that has no reward from God. Sunday Bakare is mismanaging the grace of God upon his life and ministry. The dream of becoming Nigeria's president is not realistic for him. He cannot even win an election in his church, not to talk of Nigeria. If he has money, he should use it to help the less privileged in his church instead of going about to waste his time for nothing. Tunde Bakara should relax, forget the dream of becoming Nigeria's president and face his missionary work that God has sent him to do. He should preach the gospel, win my souls for Christ, he said. Meanwhile, Bakara launched the Nigeria for Nigeria group some months ago. Addressing his members, Bakara has said the new group will be greater than the Save Nigeria group, a pressure group which he convened in 2010. Bakare was quoted as saying, I am going to champion it and it will go like wildfire across the nation. Nigeria for Nigeria will be bigger than Save Nigeria Group. However, Ayodele cautioned Nigerians against joining the group, stating that Bakare created the group to further his political ambition. He said at that time, he said at the time, I beg your pardon, today Bakare's Nigeria for Nigeria movement is not divine. It is another means to put Nigerians in bondage again. Nigeria should not join this movement or else another disaster awaits us. I sincerely and honestly advise Prime Minister Udile to please stop telling the populist predictions. He should rather call the person concerned and tell him privately, Nigeria is sinking politically, economically, educationally, lack of infrastructure, painful insecurity and people are being slaughtered daily like chickens. Let us get back to the drawing board to early 1952 to 1966 to negotiate our revival and reappraise our togetherness. We should not pretend. Separation are inevitable if care is not taken. Exactly. Exactly. Yoruba small and big wanted separation. They're only playing scrabble games. If Yoruba loses presidency, they will succeed immediately. If they win, they will still go. I am 66 years old and I know Yoruba nation very well. Prime Minister Oyadele and Co. should channel their energy towards reconstruction and rebuilding the nation or towards peaceful separation to the nation. Exactly. If you want to deal with your issues, Nigeria has so much, so much, we have so much on our hands. If you do not think that there is, a, there is issue or there are things that is bringing Nigeria down, then there is one thing that is glaring, the insecurity. Those, in short, Worldwide, it is known that Nigeria is battling insecurity and the insecurity has risen. It is far above the roof, as in it has gone past the roof and it is going higher and higher by the day. Another one, another expert where Nigeria have issues economically. We do not need distractions from all these things. And I do not know why you would have something to say and you would not contact the person to say it. You now start, you know, I feel it is not right. If you want to pass a message, you want to direct a message to someone and you want the person to get it, you think you just, you tell them privately and that is it. You don't bring your issues outside or you don't use yours to disturb us. We have a lot on our plate already we're dealing with. Nigerians are going through a lot. Nigerians are going through a lot already. So bringing your issue out, I do not think the electorate even appreciates it. Political pastor, tomorrow someone will go to that same church he's preaching and listening to him. Only in my country, places of sacred or worshipping grounds became, becomes campaign grounds with the aim of achieving personal interests. My blame to all faiths gets me right. A show of shame. Is there anything like man of God again? 
I suppose Prime Minister should be a man of God. If in any pastor, if in any form Pastor Bakari has done anything wrong, Prime Minister should approach him, say the decision is personal. Exactly what I said. You should approach him personally and privately, rather than say it publicly and, you know, bringing issues that are not supposed to be there, creating indifferences among the two. Many are called, but few are chosen. Those that are actually called to the divine work of God do not change their relationship with God. But those who make their false relationship with God because of money, Jesus Christ said, by their fruits, you shall recognize them. He also asked Peter, do you love me more than these? He then advised Peter to feed and tend the sheep and lambs. Maybe the pastor hired himself out to do God's work. For such people run away when they see lion, things of the world, for the sheep to suffer. Okay. The church does not have a widespread in Nigeria. You cannot do anything politically. Lying, stealing, occultic association, and no financial watches. Hmm. Christian leaders should go back to the drawing board. Exactly. They have to. Then patterned, then patterned the Christian faith as Jesus Christ has ordered them. They should seek to establish the kingdom first and put the steps right. Then every other thing will be added to it. God promises he made for men and women in the world. The Israelite got the kingdom patterns right. They at least established a kingdom, which is the instruction to the second dispensation of the words of faith. If Nigeria Christian today were to lead by example, because we are alienated, so said the scripture, then they must put up the way of the kingdom in order to achieve the desired results. Bakara is not a good leader. It has two mouths. He has two mouths. He always saw Yoruba support Yoruba support to number today, Yoruba nation tomorrow. Useless leaders. Okay. Former killer Boko Haram member, now a custom officer. Why in Namdikan on Sunday, Buha in prison for doing. Okay, not related to our news. Not related to any news. So, like I said earlier on, it is. It is. If you want to approach someone who, who makes himself, who makes his personal ambition known, I think if you want to really approach the person, and of course, you, it is going to see as a suggestion it should be seen as a suggestion then you approach him there is nothing wrong in approaching him and telling him what you suggest this is a mere suggestion everybody is um, running their race and everybody is living their lives on their term nobody is going to live um another person's life no everybody is living their life for themselves so all you need to do is to suggest and of course if your suggestion you know is not welcome you leave it be Especially when you're a pastor, you don't go out to criticize. No, you don't do it. You you call the person and you tell the person because eyes on you as a leader of an organization, not to even talk of as a leader of a religion. You a leader in a religion, I beg your pardon. You have eyes watching you and ears listening to you almost on a daily basis. You should mind the way you do things because, of course, some people will blindly 